really want to talk to that one person but not sure how to approach them, left alone with someone and now you got to start conversation to avoid awkward silence, at a social gathering and don't know anyone but don't want to look like you don't know anyone, fellow awkward people watching this, I know you've had one of these experiences. Or all of them. But that's fair because the hardest part of a conversation is starting it. So today, I'm gonna give you four great conversation starters so that you can easily and confidently approach absolutely anyone and talk. Starting off with probably my favorite one, ask a simple question. Now what's great about this one is that it's basically an excuse to talk to someone. It's perfect for those of us who are not comfortable with the idea of approaching someone and simply introducing ourselves, despite that actually being a very common conversation starter as well. Spoiler, that may or may not be the next one on the list. But anyway, I get you. It can feel a little daunting to just walk over there and be like, hey, my name is Joe. Plus, you gotta at least come off as an outgoing person for that to work. Otherwise, it just wouldn't look natural. I discovered how good this one was back when I had mad social anxiety and thought I hated talking to people. But then after I volunteered as an ambassador for several organizations including my college, my opinion changed. So I basically acted as an information person, uh, gave directions, reached out to people and asked if they needed any help, all that good stuff. And that role as an ambassador basically acted as an excuse for me to talk to people. And through that I realized Hey, I actually don't hate talking to people that much. It's as simple as just saying, hey, do you know where blank is? Blank can be something like the bathroom, food, a person, the library, whatever. Hey, excuse me, um, do you know where the bathroom is? It's down the hall to the left. Ah, cool, awesome, thanks. Um, so where are you from? Don't you need a toilet? Ah, uh, yeah, let's try that again. Hey, excuse me, do you know where the nearest bathroom is? I have a boyfriend. Oh, uh... No, damn it! Um, Excuse me, miss. Oh, do you happen to know where the bathroom is? It's down to the left. Um, oh, on second thought, I don't need it anymore, but um, nice skirt you've got there. Oh my god, I swear this one actually works, but on to the next one, which I have teased. And yes, it's a simple self introduction. Something like, hey, I don't think I've met you before. What's your name? See, wasn't that just smooth? <laughs> Almost made you want to talk back to me through your screen, huh? Seriously though, I know I said that this one can be a little daunting, but let me tell you a couple things that'll take the pressure away. One is that people tend to forget the conversation starter around just a minute into the conversation, which means if you can hold a good flowing conversation, then they'll simply forget how you approach them. Another is that because this is not something that everyone has the courage to do, let's face the fact, if you do, you'll come off as a more confident person than most others. It's a great first impression. Most people do appreciate your effort in coming over there to talk to them. And if that wasn't enough, that introduction in particular, I don't think I've met you yet, also makes you seem like you actually know most of the people there, even if you only know one other person, which is the host that invited you. Hey there, um, I don't think I've met you before. Let's just keep it that way. Oh! I don't know why he keeps trying to talk to that girl though. Seems like a bit of a bitch, huh? Jeez, I wouldn't want to get to know her. Number three compliment them. This is another one that's easy to use and isn't as daunting to do. This goes back to the idea that you have a legitimate excuse to talk to them. Plus, it easily opens the door to more conversation. For example, if you complimented them on their shoes, you can follow up by asking, hey, uh, where did you get them? How much were they? Or what are those? But if you nail that compliment to start off, they'll instantly let their guard down, which makes them more comfortable around you. I really doubt there's anyone that would react negatively to this. Unless you really kicked it with that compliment. Oh my gosh, your hair's so pretty. Is that a bald spot? Ew. <laughs> <laughs> And in addition to making them feel good, you'll also feel good yourself for complimenting someone. Trust me. And this will give you more momentum to carry the conversation in a good direction. And lastly, if all else fails, resort to the final ev evolution. Final evolution. What the f am I saying? Final conversation starter of this video. Be creative.
You don't need someone on the internet in front of a camera teaching you how to approach others of the same species as you. Just think of whatever random crap is on the top of your mind. Sometimes that's the charm, unpredictability. Although you have a 95% chance of being thought of as a weirdo. What? But people might just be intrigued by those quirks and they'll want to keep talking to you. Now I did say come up with it yourself, but because I'm so generous, here's some just for inspiration. Hey, who's your waifu? Hey, do you like those? <laughs> hey baby girl, where are you from? Bruh, I'm your neighbor. Oh, excuse me, I'm I Ford over there. Do you mind if I stand here for a minute? <laughs> no. Oh my gosh, Opa, you look like Jimin. Oh my gosh. Oh, well, thank you. Oh my god, Ami, you look like Olilande. Ah! <laughs> hey. Oh, hi. I'm an astronaut. I'm sorry, what? My next mission to explore your anus. Oh, yeah. Hey there, um, you have really good social skills. But well, we only just met. Oh. Then you must watch Social Skills BTS. <laughs> now, you may borrow those ones that I just used, but just put your creative flair on it, otherwise I'm gonna sue for plagiarism. Oh, who am I kidding? I got those off the internet as well. I'm not smart enough to come up with that. But that's all for this video. Give me a like if you enjoyed and tell me in the comments what's your favorite conversation starter. Although I'm pretty sure by now it'll be... I thought over there. Do you mind if I... And hit that subscribe button so I'll see you in the next one. But until then, go approach whoever you want and slay. That's it. I'm out. Peace. Oh, um, great! Does he know where the nearest bathroom is?